So there you are in Final Cut and you'd like to put some text in there and there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do that so all you have to do is go down to this uh, bit down here tap on that little T icon there and you get a choice of a few different text options I put one in there already and it's the pixie dust one how about that you can do things like changing the color of the font just get the uh, text over on here selected and you can choose how you want it to look change the color for instance there's my color picker gone to there he is and decide whether you want an outline on there or not and you can have a glow let's choose a color we have a glow of uh, sort of yellowy sort of color so we've got a little bit of a glow happening there not much but uh, I think we have to change the radius size there to make that bigger there we go so we've got a bit of glow it looks like an outline actually at the moment but it becomes more of a glow if you change the blur and you can also change the uh, typeface so if we've got uh, super clarin at the moment we can change that and have trebuchet and uh, not only that you can actually even uh, use this thing up here to be able to say exactly where you want it so let's just uh, change the position of this by changing this here maybe we want it to more to the right just have a bigger number over there and then a smaller number here and we could have that appear in our bottom right hand corner or the top right hand corner whichever takes your fancy let's go back to our text again and bring the size of it down a wee bit go back to the position again and make some changes there to uh, position it a bit better due to the change in the size and so we've got a nice little uh, bug that we could place in the top right hand corner a bug is what you might use uh, like TV companies use them when they want people to know what uh, TV show they're watching and they put something on the top left hand or right hand corner and uh, channel 5 or whatever else is going to be in there and stuff like that and you can do something similar with your movies quite easily so let's just uh, play that again we've got the pixie dust happening over in the top right hand corner of our movie marvellous so there are other types of text that you can put in as well You've got a few choices down the bottom here. You go from these build in and build out ones. You've got some bumper and openers. You've got uh, credits and elements and even speech bubbles and the lower thirds. So, for instance, let's uh, choose this lower third here. Double click on that there. So, we've just put a, a gradient in the center there. And again, just go to this thing here. So, I can either go to this bit here and change that there. So it uh, pops up on the screen there, a little bit of a fade in. When it gets to the end, it'll do a fade out as well. With these things here, if it uh, doesn't do the sort of uh, fade ins and fade outs that you want, then you can actually sort of add a fade in to it by going to your transitions. So if I wanted to put a cross dissolve on that there, I could do. Click on that and I've got uh, cross dissolves at the end of that. So I've got some uh, fade ins and fade outs. So that's uh, fairly handy. But there are going to be times when the text that you want, maybe you want to have something special like uh, have your text do a little bit of a wiggle or a dance or jump up and down or whiz off to the side or this, that and whatever. And if we're going to do that and it's not in this area down here, then we're going to have to go to motion and do something one off just for ourselves. Motion's not too expensive now in the Mac App Store, so it's uh, definitely well worth a look. Have a look at the other videos that I've done on this YouTube channel to see what you can do with motion so here we are now in motion 5 and we've opened up the title thing and what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, double click on that text there and put in the text that we want to have in our little text object that we're going to make for ourselves what I want to do is I want to take it up to the top right hand corner there put this to be uh, right justified that'll do the job for me and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the library and I'm going to choose a behavior for text animation and we'll go for type on drag that onto our text and so now to get that text so that it can be seen have to press play the text types itself on over the period of the animation now that is going to be a bit too slow for it to come onto the screen so what we're going to do is going to reduce the size of that in here so that it happens a whole lot faster press play once more still too slow let's change that and make it shorter again and there you go, our letters type themselves on that much quicker. What we can do with that is to make it a little bit more smooth 
is to go to the inspector and give it a fade in to happen as well we can go to this text one over here and I think uh, the tracking needs to be changed a little bit as well just to uh, spread the text out a wee bit and it looks a bit better that is a quick way of doing a title that you can use in Final Cut so let's just save that and we'll call this top right bug and we'll put it into uh, this amazing one theme so I know where it is it's going to be in the category it's going to be in the bugs and click publish so here we are back in Final Cut Pro and what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in that little bit of text that we made in motion and bring it and put it into our timeline okay so what I have to do is I have to go over to my themes because I put it inside a theme and it's in the one called Amazing One and that's our top right bug it's that one there look if I double click on that now it'll put that into my timeline okay as soon as it's finished doing its bit of uh, rendering we'll get that to play and see it in the top right hand corner there so the text typed itself in and then it disappeared at the end of that so that's one way of using text and creating text within motion and we're going to have a look at more about what you can do with text in motion in the next video. Bye-bye now.